whenever I start off a vlog, I always say good morning in the same way. I'm like, good morning. <laughs> we literally have to walk to go get coffee right now because I have not been grocery shopping because I've been traveling and living it up. Um, I could technically make like a latte because I have espresso and I have oat milk, but that oat milk's been sitting in there for weeks. So I don't even want to look in those containers. So we're gonna go walk to get coffee. I haven't picked up my camera in like a week. I haven't vlogged since... What, you wanna go outside already? It's like fucking 7.30, bitch. My dogs wanna go out. I have cats, but they're literally like dogs. Um, yeah, I haven't vlogged since Michigan. Um, so we have a lot to catch up on today in this vlog. <laughs> Lots happened. I was gonna vlog in Detroit and I'm so sorry that I didn't, but guys, I was fucking tired. I was so fucking tired. I was like, you know what? And I was in a hotel room with no windows. It was an odd hotel. It was nice. I stayed at the Siren. It was really like, you know, old school, classy New York City vibes, but I had no windows in my room. So I kind of felt like I was living in a dungeon and I was so tired. So I didn't vlog and I apologize, but let's go walk to get coffee because I have nothing in my kitchen. Here's my little walk fit. This sweater is from Brandy Melville. I haven't worn it in a really long time, but recently I've been bringing it back a little bit. I wore it a few weeks ago. And here I am again, it's just so cozy. So this is from Brandy and then I'm wearing these long <laughs> shorts from Brandy. And my slippies, I'm changing out of the slippies for our walk, so. And I got my lashes done yesterday, slay. I get them done from Studio 22 Beauty Bar on Instagram. Don't rip my couch. Anyways, she literally comes to my apartment to do my lashes, she's awesome, her name is Alex. She gave me a lash bed to like keep here and she comes over at like 7 a.m. And she does my lashes right fucking here. And it's so nice. I don't know if you guys were following me in my little like cruise era days when I would go on cruises and like <laughs> vlog it on TikTok. I was known as the cruise girl for like a year there. It was kind of freaky. I do miss it. But when I was on these cruises, that's when I introduced my like Starbucks matcha drink to the world and everyone like freaked out. But I've been getting them again recently because why wouldn't I? They're so fucking good. So we're walking to Starbucks. The only thing Starbucks is good for. Everything else at Starbucks sucks dick. I didn't fucking stutter. I've been hearing recently, cause I was wondering, cause I watch like Tana's vlogs and like people like that. And I was wondering why she was like bleeping her swears on YouTube. Cause she's never done that before. And I've heard from like a few creators that apparently now on YouTube, like if you curse or say things like that, like it won't tell you that that's why, but you'll make less money. I don't give a fuck. I'm not bleeping like, what? I don't know. That kind of shook my world for a little bit there. I was like, really? Hi, how are you? Getting yourself? I'm good. Can I do um, a venti iced matcha latte made with oat milk with a pump of vanilla and strawberry puree, please? Yeah. Okay, I'm having a bit of mommy time before I tend to the bird that lives in my apartment, but I'll give you guys my first update. <laughs> that sounded really dramatic. Like, Tara, please get over yourself. Um, I'm talking to a guy. And all I'm gonna say is he's great. <laughs> I met him while I was gallivanting around the country vlogging last week. Um, so he lives like over there. We were on the phone last night and I was venting about that one time where I posted on TikTok that I was drinking a Hailey Bieber smoothie and then everybody came to the consensus that I was a high school bully because I was drinking the Hailey Bieber smoothie from Erwan and I was just like venting about cancel culture because that's a topic I'm very passionate about and I cannot stop talking about it. And he goes, what, what do you mean Hailey and Sel who's Hailey Bieber? <gasps> I was like, like he knows nothing about social media. He knows nothing about like like drama. I love it. He's awesome. I've been saying for years, I'm so attracted to guys that aren't addicted to social media and like don't do social media for a living and like don't even really like use it. But then I'm always with these like TikTokers that are like, I always end up with the musicians and the boxers and like I'm over it. Okay, I'm so fucking over it. But yeah, talking to a guy. He's coming to visit me in a few weeks. Um, and yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Ew, I'm like, <laughs> Miss Girl is blushing. Ew, I'm like getting awkward, like Tara. Okay, I was just getting ready to go to like an irresponsible place, but I've decided that we should probably go to the gym first, then 
I'll mull over my decision to go to the irresponsible place and then we'll probably go anyways. Good plan? Okay, I'm wearing my aloe. I think this is the everyday t-shirt. I'm wearing that or whatever and I'm wearing my Nike Pro shorts and my little sneakers. I ordered hokas last night, you guys. <laughs> Everyone's been talking about those damn hokas, so I finally ordered them. I'm just concerned with the like platform on them. Why are they so big? I used to wear platform shoes when I first started running because I didn't know and I fucking sprained my ankle. So I'm a little bit concerned about that, but also if anyone can help me out with this, that would be great. So I, I don't like wearing like AirPods when I'm working out, but I have to when I'm running because I got the Apple AirPod Maxes and I love these for when I'm like walking around, but when I'm running, like they adjust like this and I need them on the shortest setting but whenever i run after like 10 seconds they go all the way down to this when i'm like bouncing is there any way to like lock them in place because i literally can't wear these when i run it's like really frustrating because that's like why i got them so if anyone knows that'd be great i've had these running shoes for so long and i love them but like there's literally blood on them from that fucking rottweiler driving me down the road and so it's kind of like it's a cute little memory when I look down at my feet when I'm running and I see blood but like I think it's time for a new pair of running shoes hence the hokas switched up my makeup routine a little bit and I'm like saying this with my chest right now it's fucking slay so I'm gonna show you what I do I'm not gonna sit here and bore you and like ramble on and on about my makeup routine because that's just not the kind of content that I make but I'm gonna do like a um like a quick little montage and I'll put all the products that I use up on the screen who the hell are you I may or may not have like watched closely on a Ken's Nation TikTok and been like Okay, I'm gonna hit Sephora and buy the exact same products. That's what I did So I'm gonna show you what I do. Well, let me preface most of these products are things that I discovered on my own And I'm gonna totally suck my own dick right now because that's crazy. I did that shit on my own But I discovered two products from her that really like changed the game for me. Tara, shut up store yesterday to get Marty a bunch of presents because he's spoiled and I went to this new parrot store that I've never been to before called the perfect parrot in North Hollywood and they had like like different kinds of toys that he's not used to so I decided to like try a few like new toys out to see if he likes and it's a hit they're like spongy like puzzle pieces 
like remember when you were a kid and there was those big foam like puzzles it's kind of like those and then like a bunch of cardboard he's going oh my god he loves it it's so cute you like that stuff <laughs> Whenever I go to bird stores, I end up having more conversations with the birds in the store than I do with like humans on a daily basis. And I don't know what they're called, but there's this like toucan looking bird. It's not a toucan, but it looks like one, but like kind of smaller. And they, they're such good talkers. Like whenever I go to parrot stores, those are the, the guys I'm always talking to. And I'm next to one at the store yesterday. I'm like going through a bunch of toys and he must have asked me how I was like 10 times. Like, how are you? How are you? How are I was like, so I was finally like, I'm great. I'm doing great. He goes, well, that's good. <laughs> then I didn't answer for like a minute. And then he goes, I'm good too. What? It's still so crazy to me that like some birds can like hold small conversations. I was like, like he was like sassy with it. I'm good too. Cause I didn't ask, huh? I told you guys this in a vlog like a few weeks ago, but my dad finally moved to LA. He lives right across the street from me. It's like a five minute walk down the road. And like, this is a dream come true for me. Every single day since he's moved, I, after I was in Detroit, I flew home to Rhode Island for like 12 hours to just like help him move across the country because he had like six suitcases, two cats, like all that stuff. So I was helping him move. And that was maybe like a week ago. And ever since I've just been like lingering in his apartment every day. I walk my happy little ass over to his apartment every day and I sit on his floor and I just, hang out it's so weird like it hasn't hit me yet that he lives like right down the street from me like this is literally my dream come true he's already went out and partied with my friends without me it's been a week <laughs> but i'm bringing a few things over there right now because okay so alani you guys know alani nutrition like the energy drink brand they've been sending me pr for like three years and i love their energy drinks i'm obsessed with them they've been spoiling me ever since i moved to la but like they'll send me things that aren't vegan and i'll like dm them and i'm like Hey, just wanted to remind you guys that I'm vegan and I can't eat this. Like, LOL thinks though. And they'll respond and be like, glad to see you were enjoying. Like, <laughs> so I tell them that I can't eat these things, but then they respond with like an automated message. Um, so I have like a whole cabinet of things that I can't eat for them. So I'm gonna bring them over to my dad's cause he's not vegan. I'm bringing him these peanut butter and jelly protein bars. These look so good. I got another flavor of these too, but I'm saving them for a guy. All right, this salted caramel protein coffee. Okay. And these like pretzel cookie protein shakes. I'm gonna log up. He also wants my like robot floor cleaner. I have that like automated floor cleaner that like cleans the floor for you and you don't have to do anything. But honestly, like I love manual labor. I like cleaning my own floors. So I don't want it anymore, so I'm gonna bring it to my dad's house. I also have these like gummy candies that I can't eat either because there's gelatin in them, but like my dad doesn't really eat candy. One time he was coming into town and he always gives me like very specific things to buy. Like when he used to come like visit me, he would come visit me like every other month, but he would like give me these like special requirements of things to pick up from the grocery store ready for him when he gets into town, right? One time he calls me, he's like, hey, I want green M&Ms and Reese's like waiting for me. I'm like, okay, what? So I, here I am like separating colors of M&Ms into like cute little jars in his guest room for when he arrives and he gets here and he's like, I don't eat candy Tara. Like, why is this in my room? I was like, bitch, you asked me for that. He goes, no, I didn't. Still to this day, he's like, I never asked you for that. I'm like, why, why else would I have spent that long separating green M&Ms into a jar? If you never even at like, okay, I have to make a few trips down to my Jeep because I have a lot of shit. Oh, my cats are still outside. I fucking left Roger. Oh my God. I went out to run errands. Roger like lives outside. Okay. No, Roger never wants to come in. He is always on the balcony. So I don't feel too bad about this, but I went out for like a four hour errand run the other day and I get home and I realized Roger was still outside and I was like, oh my God, I'm the worst. I opened the door. He was just like, what? I don't want to come in yet. <laughs> This is my fit. You guys are like, we've seen that outfit. For like, why are you showing us again? Um, my Etern V-neck. These jean shorts are actually from Brandy Melville. I wouldn't normally recommend getting denim from Brandy because of the little sizing issue that we're all well aware of. But honestly, the shorts like kind of work. They're not really giving like Olivia. They're kind of a little bit more roomy than normal. Okay, none of you guys know what I'm talking about there. Me and Jordy used to say to each other like, oh, you're serving Olivia today. Like, okay, Olivia, like Olivia Ponton. Like if we looked 
um, all skinny that day and my new balances. Very like basic girl summer, you know. You know. Oh my god, you look like the 4th of July. Makes me want a hot dog real bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ignore the mattress in the back of my Jeep. I don't know what she's doing there. Um, <laughs> I haven't even showed you guys my Jeep yet. She's fucking scary. You guys are gonna be sprinting away from me. If you guys ever see me in public riding around this Jeep, you're gonna be fucking scared of me, okay? I'm gonna show you, but first, I have to tell you a little story. So I jack up my Jeep. I'm fucking pumped, okay? First of all, not to get deep, but I never thought that I would ever have the means to be able to build my dream Jeep like this. Like, I, this is my dream come true, so I'm like, I feel like I fucking own the city at this point, okay? I picked up my Jeep when I got back from Michigan, and the next day, I'm like, riding around town. I feel like I fucking own the joint, okay? I'm in my little skirt. I'm wearing like a little tiny skirt. I'm in like my Prada sunnies. I'm marching out of Air One like that fucking bitch, okay? I'm like convinced everyone's looking at me because I'm so fucking cool. I'm like, oh my God, everyone's freaking looking at me right now. This is so embarrassing. Like, you guys don't have to stare. I know I'm cool. I'm like walking up to my new Jeep with my Air One bags and my little smoothie little skirt you know what i mean i'm parked on the road and there's a bunch of cars on this street like like stopped at a red light okay i'm on a very busy street i'm on beverly boulevard all right i open up my driver's side door and i'm not used to having a lift yet okay i haven't had a lifted jeep since i was like a teenager so i'm just not used to it yet um so i kind of have to like hold my wheel and like pull myself up because it's really high but all my arms are full with my fucking air one bags air one bags <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't pull myself up. So I kind of just kind of launched my body into my Jeep with all my stuff Stumbled backwards fell on my ass all my shit went all over the road in front of all these cars on Beverly Boulevard skirt flying up in the air <laughs> And you know what? I needed to be humbled that day if you would have seen me like as a bystander walking around town You would have been like that girl needs to be humbled at some point today and it happened But I think that was a little bit extreme. I don't think I deserved that but I'm gonna show you my Jeep now. Yeah, I know. I got new tires, new wheels, new um, bumper, new grill, three and a half inch lift, light bar, please. Are you scared? We're balling around here, y'all. Like this is insane, I still can't believe it. She's so scary, like tell her that like, you would be scared if you saw her like rolling down the road, cause she knows it. And I don't wanna hear shit about the angry girl, okay? Everyone's giving me shit about that, I don't care. I used to be an angry girl hater, too like pretty much my whole life i don't know what changed but now i'm obsessed and it's my jeep i can do what i want with my jeep if y'all don't like the angry girl suck it <laughs> no you don't have to suck one but like keep it to yourself she's gorgeous okay <laughs> I'm at my dad's right now, but I just realized I completely forgot to mention that I got new fenders and I don't know how because I've literally wanted these fenders since I was like 16 years old. So I'm letting them have their moment. The place that my dad moved into, it like sort of gives me like Beverly Hills Hotel vibes just cause it's so like green and like there's cute little paths everywhere with like trees and like, I don't know, it just gives me like bungalow vibes. This is how I've been getting into my dad's apartment. It literally looks like I'm fucking breaking in somewhere, but it's more fun this way. So. <laughs> I do this every day. Oh, hi. 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 Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> it's Tara's world. Welcome to Dad's apartment. Welcome to Jim's world. Want to show them around? All right. <laughs> dining room, living room, kitchen, dining room. The spare bedroom with a full bath for my visitors and my office. Like, look at his little view. It's like so green. I'm obsessed. Yeah, it's all tropical and shit. It's all tropical and shit. We got a pull out sleeper. <laughs> mm hmm. I just got my furniture delivered two days ago. I was sleeping on the floor for a while. George. This is George. This is when Tara dumps Marty off on me. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, you... and it's Sally, girl. Yeah, Sally, you guys have been crashed out since breakfast. I've never been taught a cat could be so long no, no, and no, so tiny. My master. 
My master oh. bedroom. Master bedroom. Look at his balcony, you guys. It's so cute. He got like a little bistro thing for it, but it's not there yet. I haven't got it yet. But like his, his stool. How cute is this? Oh, yeah, I came over and ruined my dad's life for a little bit yesterday because if you guys didn't know, he like works for me a little bit. So he's going to be a part time Marty nanny. So I lugged this giant birdcage into his apartment. I said, happy nanny life. <laughs> Random text from a number I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm gonna go do the irresponsible thing that I was talking about earlier, which is going to the mall. I don't know why I wanna go to the mall so bad, but I've been kind of craving it for the past three days, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put it off and think about it, and if I still wanna do it in three days, I'll do it. So I still wanna do it. I was supposed to like get rid of a bunch of clothes before I, I did this, something like this. I'm not like going hard. I just wanna like walk around and window shop. That's bullshit. But I was supposed to get rid of clothes before this, but my hoarding tendencies have gotten so much worse. Like, I am just convinced that, like, I'm gonna need that next week. Like, no, you're not, babe. I, w I wear this every day. Like, why would I need all that shit that I have in my apartment? I used to be good about getting rid of clothes. Now I'm just putting it off and putting it off because I'm like, no, I need all of this shit. I'm a hoarder. And I kind of want to go out for, like, a little lunch, too, because I'm a little bit hungry and Dad is gonna come with me. So... Slay. Okay, I just got home. I fully like rode some random guy's ass and like honked and shit at him for like a full mile all the way into my parking garage because I thought it was Jordy and it wasn't Jordy. So that was really humiliating. I kind of just like sat in my car for a little bit, like wait, waited for him to go up the elevator so I wouldn't have to like discuss why I was doing that. Um, I'll give you a little haul. I only got a couple of things because I don't know. I went to the Westfield mall. I wasn't in like a huge shopping mood. I kind of was. I didn't really find anything. Mm -hmm. Hi Venus. You're always staring at me somewhere. Mm-hmm. I'm in love with you too. I went to Levi's and I saw like a bunch of shirts there that I liked, but they didn't really have my size in any of them except for a couple. So I got this little cute shirt. I don't know. I love like the lace detail, the little bow, the little red sleeves. It's like, it's like cute. And the, the Levi's tag is adorable. Hold up. I'm very surprised this fits me. I really thought this was going to be like a wishful thinking moment, but I got this cute little Levi's t-shirt, but it was like really tiny when I was looking at it, but I was like, ah, maybe it's stretchy. I've done that before where I've bought like really tiny t-shirts. I was like, ah, oh, it's probably stretchy. It'll be fine. Then I got home. I was like, wait, this is like a full blown youth small shirt. Like where did I think that this was going to fit? So I'm happy this fits. It's so cute. And then I went to Sephora because I've kind of just been like stopping by every Sephora that I come across looking for the vanilla summer Fridays butter bomb and it's just sold out everywhere I can't find it and I'm so pissed off because I discovered that butter bomb before it became like super popular and now it's just sold out everywhere and I can't get it but I picked up a couple other things oh why we always answer the phone like that I know. we're so McDonald's so so good. So good. Yeah, like, what if I wanted to change my reservation to what to a different restaurant what restaurant? <laughs> do you think I couldn't do that? I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill Jordy. He had me DM Paul, the the GM at Boa Steakhouse for his birthday dinner like last week for like 14 people, like a big reservation. He had me like set up this like birthday dinner for him at Boa. 
and it was supposed to be for tomorrow or something. Oh no, today. It was supposed to be for today or no, tomorrow. Whatever, besides the point. He texted me the other day, Jordy, he's like, can you like, I don't want to do it anymore. Like, can you cancel? I was like, yeah. So I go to like DM Paul to say that we're canceling and Paul like already made like the birthday flyers for the table. Like they make like cute little happy birthday things with like, like Jordy's face on it. He already made all of them and I had to DM him like, I'm sorry, like Jordy doesn't want to do it anymore. Like, oh, I felt awful about it. I was like, I'm so sorry. I never, I hate canceling reservations. I hate being late to things. Like I am, I just don't like doing that. So that was really hard for me. And then this morning, Jordy's like, oh, like, yeah, let's, let's just do a birthday dinner tonight at Crossroads. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. Now he just goes, actually, can we do Boa again? Can you reach out to Paul? No. Now I had to DM Paul again and be like, hey, can we still... I'm so embarrassed. What if he, what if Paul like yells at me? I don't want, I've never been scolded by, I don't think Paul will scold me, but like, I just hate, mm. oh my God, I'm so angry. Um, okay. I went to Sephora and I got, I got the fucking Sol de Janeiro Brazilian bum bum cream. I don't really know why. I love the like body spray a lot, but it doesn't last that well, so I don't wear it that often. Um, and I got this cream at my condo back home and I remember like, not loving it, but it just smells so fucking good that I think I need it. I think I need to like smell like this. So I got it again. And then I just got like a new brush. It, it's like a contour brush, but I want it, I want to use it for powder like under my eyes, I think. Cause the powder brush that I have is giant and I'm trying to like only put powder under my, I don't fucking know. And then I can't believe I found this. I wasn't even looking for it. But you guys know the like, I'll just show you. The like primer sculpt thing that people use on TikTok. It's like so popular. I was not expecting to like, for this to be in stock, this thing, hold on, with this roller, whatever. Like I wasn't looking for it, but I saw it and I was like, I was like, oh, like no chance that's in stock, right? To like the Sephora person that was working there. She was like, oh no, I think there's one left. <clears throat> I'm so excited. I'm so Ken's nation, like what? So it's my little haul. I wanna, um, oh God, I have to text Paul. I'm fucking so embarrassed by this. Jordy goes, oh, well, yeah, I wanna switch it to boa now because like the outfit that I'm wearing is so boa. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> oh God, I'm so embarrassed, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, I cleaned for a little bit. I took off my fucking pants and I'm cracking open a Olipop Classic Root Beer because a two hour long episode of the canceled podcast just came out and I think I'm gonna rot on the couch now for two hours because I can't not know. Hi, honey. Colson's gonna start sucking the fuck out of this blanket. Marty's gonna sing his little app. Oh, and just like that, the, the top. Thank you. The top of my Olipop just caked in cat fur just from one little swift tail flick. I wonder how much cat fur I've ingested in my life. I'll like be eating something that I made. I'll look down at my next bite. There's like four cat furs. I'm like, and I'll eat it. Cause like, what am I gonna, I can't like pick through every single bite. <laughs> There's like half a cat in every meal I make. Marty, what? Crazed. Hello and welcome back to the Cancelled Podcast. Oh, oh my god, they look I'm gorgeous. Having, I love when you say having a panty. I love when they say that. I'm having a panty. Because I know <laughs> little besties with TikTok boy. Are you sure you want to say that? Yes, and I'll get into why after this actually. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> that's so high pitched. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs> I just got ready for the dinner that I wasn't aware we were going to. Um, and I'm so excited. I, I'm literally wearing like a full Prada fit and I was just thinking to myself, I was like, fuck Prada, like they work with all these influencers but they won't work with me, like why? It's cause I quit my job. How would they, like I quit TikTok. What if, and I'm like the way I am, like why would Prada want to work with me, right? They're working with like Zoe Fish. <laughs> like not me, but this is the fit. I feel so cute, I'm wearing this. Prada sweater and the stains that my ex-boyfriend got on this sweater are really nothing to be ignored here. I got this sweater a while ago and I only wore it once for like an hour and then I never wore it again because I thought it was like itchy. It's really not, I don't know why I thought that, but so it was just like in my closet and my ex like always wanted to wear it whenever we'd go out and he wore it like five times when he went out drinking and now all of a sudden there's all these stains. It's fine. <laughs> 
I posted that on my Instagram story. I was like, uh -huh, lovely stains from my ex on my Prada sweater. And he calls me. He's like, those aren't from me. I was like, what do you mean they aren't from you? you you're a fucking... I'm, I'm not going to go there. Never mind. Um, and then I'm wearing this little black silky skirt from Motel Rocks. And my little Prada loafers that Jordy bought me for my birthday. <laughs> I even changed out my necklace. This is from Every Jewels. This little like snake chain that I'm wearing. And I'm wearing... My little every jewel earrings. These rings are from the trading post. My little Cartier rings and my Cartier bracelets. I never really switch out these. All my jewelry always stays the same. And I cracked open a white cloth. I look fucking adorable. I almost redid my makeup though, cause I, I look, my makeup like doesn't really stay well on me. Like just cause I'm so oily. I'm a very oily bitch. Um, so like if I wear makeup for too long, like my oils come through and then I look so shiny and I hate looking shiny. Like I hate looking glowy. I don't know what, I don't know. But I just like powdered and I'm fine. And I did like a little half up thing with my hair, but I had to put a clip in it. Cause my hair does this thing where it's like, it goes like boop. Like it doesn't just lay flat on my head. I have something to ask you guys. There is no way that there are girls out there that want volume in their hair. I. That's the last thing I want. Like when I go to the hairdresser, like, and she's like, oh, like, what do you want your hair to look like? I'm like, as flat as fucking possible. I don't want my hair to lift by any means in any situation. I don't want volume. There's no way that's like a popular thing that people want. I hate it. Okay, I'm gonna take some dumb little mirror selfies for my stupid little Instagram story so that stupid guy that I like will like text me and be like, oh, you look so pretty. Like, Tara, please. Like, you need, you have a reservation to make. Like, go to dinner. Go, no, I'm gonna take a fucking Instagram story and I'm gonna like it. Jordy's just like me, he like got his own cake and it's so pretty. It looks so, so good. So good. So good. My, My 20 you. something, that's so cute. <laughs> Thank God. So cute, I can't stop. No, I can't ever stop. I was thinking about it this morning. I'm taking a yeah. shot of tequila just for Jordy because it's oh, like his sorry. birthday. <laughs> And I can't believe it. Oh wait, actually, you take that because mine needs to be a little bit smaller. Oh, she's such a kind. A little bit smaller. I'll puke on your table. You don't want that. Uh, Back when I, I used to drink I'm tequila. Just, I'm picturing you in that big ass, bulky ass. Wait, I'm I mean, like me and Max were dying. Your, I was watching your vlog with him, and I was just your reflection of you with a bulky ass camera. I'm dying. It's like I'm filming a movie <laughs> when I'm outside vlogging. That was so funny. It's so embarrassing, but I can't use that fucking. Oh, they're <laughs> calling you. Oh, you're so nice. One, two, three. Happy birthday, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The second one was actually worse. That was a big deal for me because I don't drink tequila. No, me at Hustle in Vegas with this giant bottle. We're like, talk about Hustle. And I am. We have a little bit. He texted me the next morning. He's like, and I all night. Oh, heck. <laughs> Me and Tara moan and come to these every night. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, Cheers. Cheers. Up, everybody. We're finished on the palette. Uh, we do have caviar service. Uh, anybody's shellfish lovers. Cheers. Cheers to Jordy. We love you. Uh, something. We smashed our glasses. <laughs> good shatters. Oh my god. What'd you say? In, like so much louder? I said Tara's vlogs are so good. I oh love that. No, I so told you the other day. Remember, I was like, oh my gosh, I have food and Tara posted a vlog. Stroke my fucking <laughs> ego some more, please. Only this time. <laughs> I've just, I've always wanted to see a burrata thing in person. Three, two, Tara's a big one, vegan. Vegan reaction. Uh, <laughs> like it, 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 it's nothing see. crazy. I don't know. Like like Me and Jordy haven't had something on vlogs since 4800. Oh, yeah. Because some bad things happen. <laughs> this whole vlog is just cheersing of like 45 drinks. What's his name? I swore off white wine like Rebellion. a long time ago. That's what it tastes like. What's his name? It tastes like Rebellion. <laughs> Guys, we can't get alter ego. No, we can't. I'm steady. Would you say we can't get alter ego? We can't get alter ego today. We'll get half now. Italy, Rebellion, Cielo. I mean, oh, you. Cielo. Cielo. City, Julia Fox. No, Julia Fox is okay. No, Julia Fox. Oh, no. Paul, the GM of Boa, comes up to the table with a fistful of threats. Like, why does he have threats? He goes, I'm trying to be, to be trendy because of the new app. And he gave Jordy. Can you pass me that? 
Oh. Jordy goes, can I have that? <laughs> he gave him a no, thread. No, I said, can I have the lavender one? And then he was like, which one? This one? I said, no, that's eggplant. And then I looked at that one and I said, no, that's periwinkle. <laughs> well, we have the periwinkle. And it's lavender. He hands it to Sailor. He's like, can you do something with this? <laughs> Hi. Wait, back up. You're so far. It's like fish eye as fuck. Hi. 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 <laughs> Wait, we take Tara. Edit oh, yeah. Wait, go back, go back. Go back. Oh, me first. Okay. I got this. I got this. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm Indy, and I think and that Cielo. Oh, I think that Pablo's gonna get the most drunk today. Back to you. I'm Indy, and I think Cielo's <laughs> gonna be the most drunk tonight. Wait, you should have said you were doing that. I'm Pablo, and I think. Oh that's my. Cielo. Who do you think's gonna get the most drunk tonight? I would say Cielo. Oh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm Tara's dad. <laughs> I think Tara's gonna get the most drunk tonight because I raised her right. Thank God. God. Okay. My name is Pablo, and I think Jordy's gonna get the drunkest tonight because he's a birthday boy and he needs to get drunk, and I'm gonna get him a shot later. Maybe I'll be home. Some say. Yeah. Some say you can't go to both steakhouse and eat vegan. We made it. Wow. They wanted me to come up with like a drunk alter ego name, and they've been having this for years, and nothing's ever came to me, you know? And Cielo just goes, Yeah, but like, what's someone that you find cunt? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, like Morgan Wallen, but then I was like, oh, I love Morgan Wallen, and he's kind of a drunk, I'm sorry. He's kind of an alcoholic. Um, but he makes great music. But he makes great music, and he's, I'm, he's lovely, I love him. I'm Morgan. That's my drunk alter ego name. Do you think you're Morgan right now, or are you more? Morgan? Right now? Yeah. I'm more. Oh! oh I'm not more. Oh, yeah, I'm not you're Morgan more. yet. But that will be my drunk alter ego name of Morgan. Thank you, Mr. Wallen, I love you. Signing off, Morgan in Italy. I'm Morgan. Oh my god, I'll die for you, Morgan Wallen. Die. This is a toast to Jordy. One of the most caring. One of the most thoughtful. One of the most. Empathetic. Empathetic people you will ever meet. He loves just as much as he can be loved. And <laughs> happy birthday, Jordy. We love you, bitch. All these shots are on the table. <laughs> <laughs> My canister of lime. There's no way I could finish No, drink dizzy. Since Ariana. And we'll uh, see you at the Rainbow Room. We'll see y'all at every single date on next door. <laughs> Horny AGB for life. That's so cool. Wow. Horny AGB for life. Horniest She's Ariana tour. Horniest. Horniest. Love Lock and Hats. Won the award. Oh, I did too. 2018, bitch. Don't play with me. Yes. He won Liam Access. I did finish uh, it, and I'm Liam, realizing Liam that not a lot of people are following you. you. We all are in the room. We won't be the last. So what? So what? Why did Tara's dad just say he was leaving and now he's calling her at Rainbow Room? We're at Baba. I know. I'm at the Rainbow Room. I have no idea what you're saying. This is it. This is it. This is it, y'all. Take advantage of it, y'all. Oh, it is. I'm like, do any type of face that you're dreaming of. You're doing so amazing, sweetie. That's totally not the saying. What's. Yeah, but what's the saying? You're doing so good, sweetie. You're doing amazing, sweetie. You're doing you amazing. It? Yes, you're so smart. Kardashian trivia. You're so smart. The feminine urge to kick him out of the restaurant. <laughs> no, because I went in his DM. I went in. I went to DMs and I was like, wait, so you guys fucking? He was like, no, she actually dubbed me and friend zoned me. And I was like, oh, why are you going? He's like, well, oh, the bitch that he's seeing. And I'll show you the picture. The server wasn't coming. I was like, wait, do you want to just order at the bar? Jordy yeah. swung his 12 k -er. He swung 12 <laughs> Oh, bitches are mad because I'm so fucking dripped out. <laughs> Sorry, it's so fun. Oh, whoops. The amount of stuff that's going on right now, anyways. We're at Barney's Eatery. I thought it was going to take a little bit more convincing for Jordy, but it was. It didn't. All I said was, every time I come to Barney's, I see someone I know, and there's a little bit of drama, he said I'm there. Okay, so I'm wearing my white Peter inside out because I thought it was a full trend, right? It looks like this. Why is everybody asking me, did you mean to put that on backwards? Like, I'm not that stupid. 
Yeah. And now I feel stupid. Motorcycle Mike just bought all the drugs. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm Venmo and Terror after this. Uh, if not, I'm gonna hit up her management and be like, guys, you owe me a Waterboy ad because I bought like eight dollars worth of drinks. So. Which also happens to be uh, her is going right for a tick dog, so you know. I, I think this is Every time I see Motorcycle Mike, he's always at this bar. I will. I will. It's my second time ever. First time, uh, apparently, Tara ran into me in a day. And... Every time I go out, I run into you. Why? Okay, uh, go home. The fact that we're on the same itinerary is concerning. Go home. Okay, I have to literally drop my phone to pick it up. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I saw Motorcycle Mike again. Where the fuck is the Uber? I called an Uber to Delilah. We saw like Ty and Lila and Kyla and Paige, so we're getting like... I saw Motorcycle Mike again. That was the guy I was talking about in the vlog a few weeks ago where I was like, oh, we're like talking on the Notes app. I told him to come to Delilah. Oh, hey, Pablo. Hey, hey Pablo. Loves and I got that shit. It's always work, work, work. I want to go out or I'm going home. <laughs> I want to go, go to Delilah and I literally want to forget. Fuck to forget. That's me, baby. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, I love. Oh, I just hit me. <laughs> Tara's like, Tara's like, guys, work day tonight. She's like, I'm going to air one first. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I had to sit because I have like things She's to like, do. She's like, I have things to do. We're so at the club. She has literally 17 vodkas in her. Like, you want shit to be your product. <laughs> when I said I had to sit to have things to do, I meant like hit my vape. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, yeah, like how you would react if you were just be like, hey, okay, I'm here. And then she's like, I'm here. Okay. We go to Delilah. The guy at the front had a huge issue with my camera. He's like, you can't take pictures in here. Put the lens cap on. I'm like, I don't have a lens cap on me. I'm so sorry. I'm a vlogger. Like, I will not take any clips inside of this restaurant. I fucking promise. He's like, I don't believe you. Jordy's calling me. Hold on. That's a red light. Do you want to smoke? Yeah. I'm like, I'm like particularly alone. <laughs> okay. I have this J. Do you just want to smoke this? Because you don't smoke that much? Mm hmm. Yeah. I'll just give this so you can finish it. Oh off. my God. Thank you so much. Okay. I understand. Oh my god, thank you. I wish I could. No, it's okay, I understand. But like, God forbid. And I be smoking, I don't like when people be talking to me, so here, Jordy. Just put it on that, that's okay. Okay, I'm coming. Woody, can I meet you at the door with that little half joint? Yeah. <laughs> with that little half joint. I'm being so fucking for real. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh god, you guys, I'm relapsing. I haven't decided if I was smoking yet because I have, I'm, I've quitted. BTW, I have not decided if I'm gonna smoke this yet because I quit two and a half weeks ago. So, but anyways, I didn't tell the story yet. Um, the guy at the front was very pissed off. He was like, you cannot come in, come in here with that camera. He was like, you need to put a lens cap on. I was like, I don't have a lens cap. He was like, well, if I catch you, with that camera taking any sort of picture or video, you're getting kicked out. I was like, ah, got it, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't mean to have this with me. Like, it's just my job. Like, I'm a vlogger, like, I'm sorry. He was like, no, it's okay. Like, just, just don't do it or I'm gonna kick you out. I was like, that's fine. We went in for a little bit, but like, we were, we were at Barney's Beanery beforehand and then we went to Delilah afterwards and like there was nowhere to sit because in Delilah like you need to have like a table or you can't sit down It's everything is reserved So me and Jordy strutted up to the front and we were like, can we please get a little table? Like how much is it for we asked how much it was We're like how much is it for a table? They said $500. I was like, oh But like this was sort of like after I was kind of deciding like oh, I kind of want to go home like but I also wanted to sit down, so I was like, ah, like, sure. So we got a table <laughs> for $500. We, we sat down, we got a table, and then I fucking left. The server came up, she said, what do you want to drink? I was like, uh, they want tequila, so I'm gonna get a bottle of tequila for the table. Um, we got a bottle of tequila for the table, and then I was like, all right, I'm gonna leave you guys. And Jordan was like, yeah, I wanna leave too. 
So I like literally bought a table. It was a cheap table, but I bought a cheap table and then left immediately without having a single cocktail because I wanted to come home. And I ordered a pizza. And apparently now I have a joint. And I'm totally lighting it up right now because I don't give a fuck. That was crazy. Um, I'm, I'm not, actually. <laughs> this is so hard. I'm not gonna smoke. <laughs> I'm gonna, I ordered a pizza. I ordered a margarita pizza and it's on the way seven minutes ago. So it's probably like really close now. It's seven minutes away, my pizza. So I'm gonna, that's a big ass tail. Venus caught on fire the other day. I didn't even tell you guys my funny story. I'll tell you guys in the next vlog. I have a really disgusting story to tell you guys in the next vlog. But Venus actually caught on fire the other day in my bedroom and it was really, Upsetting. Yeah, you did. You didn't even understand because you're so dumb. Yeah, it was really sad. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I like ramble and this vlog is probably so long. I love you. You're like, I'm never watching again. I'm sorry. Bye. Don't get a ukulele out if you don't want people to make fun of you. Escape.